Hi, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and I have another fun activity for you to try in the jewelry department. Um, for a list of all the supplies that you'll need, as well as better pictures and places that I shop to find my supplies, you can go to showmecute.com and I'll have a much more detailed list there for you. This activity I am calling um, Marble Pendant Necklaces, and I saw this idea and fell in love with it. So I went to um, find in search of marbles and the only ones that I found initially without going to a marble store was on the um, decor aisle at Michael's or craft store but like I said I'll have that on showmecute.com so what you're gonna do or what we're doing to these marbles is um, crackling them so that it gives it them gives them a, a faceted look and so what you do is you're gonna take your marbles and you're going to, I, hopefully you can see through that really well. We'll zoom really close in and give it a second to focus so you can see. Um, I'll have a really good picture of the finished marble on, on the blog as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your marbles um, either in a muffin tin or a cookie sheet, however you wanna do that. And you're gonna put it in your oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And so um, you're going to bake your marbles, and then when you take them out, you're going to put them right away into a bowl or a cup of um, very cold water. And I even put some ice in mine, and that causes them to crackle. Every once in a while, you might get one that'll break, so be really careful. But I only had that happen to one out of tons of marbles, so it should be okay. So I'm going to wanted to make a pendant necklace out of mine. And so I'm going to take my marble and I went to my jewelry store and I found these bead caps is what they call them. And I found this one that was so adorable that looks like a little fairy tale kind of cap. And so we're just going to use those. And there's several different kinds and you can pick which one you prefer to use for that. Okay, so I'm taking my bead cap and I'm putting my wire rod that has one end. You can either use the kind that have a flat tip or this um, ring on the end. And I chose this one because it was a little bit wider and it depends on the size of the opening on your bead cap as to probably what you wanna use. So I take, took that and stuck it through um, with the loop at the bottom so that the bead cap can't fall off. And then I'm going to take my, stick my finger up in there and hold it in place. I took my wire cutters and I cut it off with about, mm, I would say that's about three-fourths of an inch. And so then you want to take this tool, which is, um, you can use needle nose, but they don't work as well as these because these are round all the way around and it allows you to make a nice round loop at the top. And so you just take your thing, if you can get it, and you just round it around, probably better than I'm doing. But the needle nose will give you a flat end on one side, and so you don't get a nice round loop. And so I'm not really good at this. I have a, another a sister that is really good at the beading and she's better. So this takes a little bit of practice and I'll have a nice good one. I'll do it a couple of times. Actually, I already did one on this one and you can see how well it turns out. So just practice with that until you get it down. So then I'm gonna take my handy dandy super glue and my cute little bead. And this is a gel super glue. I like that one because it's not runny. It's a Scotch super glue gel. And it, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the super glue and put it on, because I don't know how the um, marble will stick on there. I didn't wanna just stick a plop of it on the marble. I stuck it on the actual bead cap. And then I'm just gonna take my marble and I'm gonna go bloop and hold it there for a few seconds. It doesn't take long for it to take hold. 
And there is our cute little pendant. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and put it on my chain and show you what it looks like when we're all done. All right, we finished our necklace and I have my little baby girl with me tonight. And I um, will put this one on her and we'll zoom in and show you what it looks like. Looks like a cute little Tinkerbell fairy princess, <laughs> baby princess. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the last thing I did that I didn't show you was I took an O-ring and this is a jewelry um, thing. This is a big one, but it gives you the idea of what I'm talking about. And you basically just take your tools, you open it, put it on your pendant, and then close it back up with your pliers. And that gives you your ring that slides down on your necklace. So you can um, find any kind of necklace that you wanna put your pendant on. And I have to give a big shout out to the Moon Marble Company in Bonner Springs, Kansas, where um, Daddy and um, Baby Girl went today to find us some uh, different color marbles. And if you don't have a marble company close to you, you can Google it and see if you have something where you live, or you can go online to the Moon Marble Company in Bonner Springs, Kansas, and they have all kinds of really crazy stuff. You could even call them and they will ship them to you however you wanna do it. So, this is a really cute idea. It doesn't match her outfit tonight, but that's okay. Um, really cute thing that she wants to make for all of her friends and any age can wear them with different types of bead caps will give you a completely different look as well as a different color. So check back later for another cute idea and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.